Stadium in the Gridiron on Grandview. It is week number three of the Ohio High School football season, and tonight, two programs that are rich in tradition, rich in pride, and rich in success will battle for 48 minutes for Medina County bragging rights. The upstart and surprising Grizzlies ranked number 22 in Division I. They come into tonight's matchup at 2-0, and and the number 19 ranked Medina Bees at 1-1. One and one. Is that the, the flag's coming on, and they're going to be doing the national anthem here in a moment. We'll take a break when they start the national anthem. But, uh, yeah, and so Aaron Keating was recipient of one big strike, a 78-yard touchdown um, pass and catch. Now, he is out tonight as well, unfortunately. So there's going to be uh, movement around on the Grizzlies' uh, offense tonight. Um, here we go. Here's the national anthem, and we'll pick back up after this. There's a good look at the Grizzlies there in the Grizzly tunnel getting ready to come out. You see a number of Grizzlies with uh, the service flags of the United States Armed Forces escorted out by a Marine in his dress blue uniform with a blood stripe down his pants. The American flag followed by the service flags. And this is such a great thing that Justin Todd here does with the salute to the troops night here at Artwright Stadium. Absolutely. It just uh, chills. You know, you know, they're talking about veterans who have given up their life, our loved ones have done that for our country, for us to be able to have a Friday night football game. And it's uh, what a sacrifice, just like Art Wright. You know, and then we'll be talking about Art Wright in the coming weeks and his dedication to his plaque. Um, he did the same thing. He gave up his career, went away from his family to serve in this service as well. Receivers each side, figure eight to the left. Throws quickly off the figure eight. He collects it. He bounces to the left. He's got the first down, down the sideline. And does he get in? Touchdown. Touchdown, Grizzlies. Hey, that's the way to respond. Nice job. How about the effort from figure eight? Gets the recep reception, thrown a little bit low, picks it up, and gets to the outside and stretches that football over the goal line. Just a quick hitter. Collects that pass in from Will Stack. Bounces it. We got the lineman downfield, number 53 for the Grizzlies, which was Evan Crowley. Great effort by Figueroa to stretch that football. Dinwiddie for the point after, and that is the 25th consecutive PAT for the sophomore. And someone from Medina got their hand on it. It did re deflect up and, and still was good. So he's perfect on the season.
faithful here tonight. Glad to see the student body out at Artwright Stadium. You got a bunch of red and white, blue flags and hats out there tonight. Love to see the patriotism. Yes. Many thanks to all of the veterans that have served this country in the past and currently serving. Thank you for your sacrifice and your service to our country. So earlier in the game, before the game ever started, before anyone was really here, I saw one of the Medina Bees warming up by himself. Didn't have his jersey on, so I don't know who he was. And uh, the athletic director was bringing the one veteran that we met earlier uh, out through with the wheelchair. And they just kind of go nice and slow. And the young man from Medina came over and shook his hand and said, you know, thank you for your service. Um, it, it was just good to see, man. Nice to see that. Good look at our cheerleading squad. What did we learn tonight? They learned 120 different dance routines. 121 different cheers, and that doesn't include the dance routine. That's it right there. Yeah, it just tells you how important special teams are. There's Sky Fox visiting Artwright Stadium here tonight. Hopefully we can give them a score here. Sky score. Sky score, Sky yeah. Score. Yep, that's what they love to say. Yeah. 8.50 left here in the first half. Kyle Figueroa right up the middle. That's going to be a touchdown. There's your Sky score. How about them Grizzlies? What an impressive drive by the Wadsworth Grizzlies methodically going down the field where one PAT from tying this one up at 14. We'll take another look at Will Stack's first down run here after, after the kick. This is Dinwiddie on, Pasco with the hold. Kick is up, it is good. Dinwiddie's good once again, ties it up 14-14 with 7.45 left in the half. Nice way to rebound, way to come back and uh, drive down the field and score for the Here's Stack. He fakes the jet sweep tonight. And look, One, just look at the effort. Two, three, four. Nice Five. job. Yeah, they're and very close. Stretches the ball out. They mark him inside the one. And here's Figure just off the left side. Good push by that offensive line up front. Enough to get Figure across the goal line. And we're tied at 14.
one at the top of the screen. Stoddard just keeps it, runs right up the middle. He's tackled short. Turnover on downs. Grizzlies take over. Gavin Madigan, the freshman, stepping up big for the Grizzlies. That young man's going to watch him for four years. He's going to be fantastic. Not even just four years. He's pretty darn good right now. How about that Grizzly D? They've been stellar all season long. Nye in the slot and off the figure A. He's got a little bit of running room. He's going to go in and score for the Grizzlies. Touchdown. No penalties, no flags. Touchdown, Grizzlies. Two times in a row they've answered Medina. Phenomenal drives by the Grizzly offense. Coach Todd and, and company, nice job. Well, Figure when he gets to the edge, he sees a seam and he just turns the afterburners on. We'll get a look at it here after the PAT, but he finds the seam. He sees the red in that end zone, and he is committed to tying this one up here after the POT. Pascal with the hold. Tim Woody with the kick. He's up and good. Ties it up 21 all with 40 seconds left in the half. Now, that's time for that's enough time for the Medina. Figure, you see he's got the seam right there, actually just before that, and puts his nose down, finds the end zone. Stamp was high. Stack does a nice job of getting it into the belly of Figure, and Figure does the rest. I'll tell you, Will Stack's done a very nice job coming in, playing the quarterback position this week.
Meyer, Sam Keel, Dean Peter, Jonas Chip Scott. Percussion director, Ryan Lilly. Percussion tech, David Seltzer. And color guard director, Vanessa Lloyd and Jessica Corson. This is the 2022 Walker High School Marching Band. On the field, the band is run by drum majors, Dana Wagner, Colin Moore, and Anna Wallace. It's just that you've got incredible athletes on the other side of, of the football. And the quarterback, this is his third game, and he's he picking up right, right where Drew Aller was. I mean, uh, and he's very precise. <laughs> yards passing he first half he had 257 yards passing he's well over 300 and uh, but hats off to this Wadsworth offense as you see the cheerleaders we were going to bring up at the, at the at the yeah we want to mention the, those yep. cheerleaders Olivia Benner Lindsay Chastain Claire Ferguson Lily Frank Aubrielle Grindle Abby Hansey Kenna Kempel Chloe Levitt Emma Lynn Sarah Magger Brianna Perkins, Olivia Borbuski. I should say that she, my mom's going to kill me. Borbuski. Uh, Borbuski. Uh, great family there. Lauren Sieber, Carissa Stedman, Gracie Swank, Gina Toronto, Sammy Vuta. Cheerleaders doing an excellent job. And you see Figure Eight dive in the end zone. Picks up his fourth touchdown of the night. Now a good push up front from the offensive line. Figueroa goes up and over the top, old school. And the Grizzlies within two, two scores. And Dinwiddie on for the PAT. Figueroa going airborne at Art Wright. 
Dinwiddie back up. He's good on extra points. Yeah, Dinwiddie continues to be perfect on the PATs. 11.56 remaining. Your Grizzlies down by 14. Again, excellent drive, way to come back. The offensive line working hard. Evan Crowley, which uh, has actually been yanked here after almost causing a penalty, unsportsmanlike penalty. Jared Pasco, John Byers, Teague Hardy, and Aaron Reese. I think he was replaced by Elon Papron, number 76, I believe, uh, earlier. I love the six, seven yards he's picking up every play. This kid is just digging deep in the gas tank. He's going to be exhausted tonight. He will sleep well. Films are at seven, son. Kyle Figure being a workhorse here tonight. The whole Grizzly team is, is playing well. Fighting, continue to fight here. Figure with the carry. Bounces right. He's got the whole daylight. He's going to go in untouched. Touchdown, Grizzlies. Again, the junior running back digging deep, deep, deep into that football spirit. Excellent job. He's Brilliant. putting he's putting the pedal to the metal. Look at the official saying, nice job, son. Mm -hmm. yep. And that is, uh, I'm getting unofficial word that he has over 200 yards and five touchdowns on the night. Wow. As he comes jogging off the field, you can see how tired the young man is. This has been a football game here tonight. Absolutely. Ian Kaufman will come on the special teams unit for the PAT. Dinwiddie on. Pasco to hold. Pick is up. It is good. Grizzlies do attack on the extra point. Down by one touchdown now. 42-35 with 6.04 left in the game. Well, that's 14 unanswered points by the Grizzlies after the, the Bees took that 42-21 lead you there in the third quarter so a long drive by the Grizzlies you give your defense a rest but now you've got to come out you've got to stop you've got to create a turnover and you're back into this football game potentially tied at the end of the fourth quarter we got a lot of football left though absolutely Mike and you ask <laughs>
And that will do it here from Art Wright tonight. The clock will wind down. A hard-fought game by both the Bees and the Grizzlies tonight here. Unfortunately, the Grizzlies do not come out on top, but uh, they do have a lot to be proud of here tonight. Oh, absolutely. This is you know a very good Medina football team, but I'm going to tell you something. This is a very, very good Wadsworth football team. And if you're not excited about these young men, um, I'm not sure what. I mean, they showed great character, great poise here tonight. They battled from whistle to whistle. Whistle to whistle, and they did make more strides and, and getting better. And, and without two big playmakers. Absolutely. Uh, so great job. A lot to look forward to. i got to give the hands off to, uh, head off to Coach Todd and Coach Knapp with their game plans. And for the kids, just handling it and, and, and buckling down and playing good ball. Yeah, very much to be proud of. A great football game here this evening. Unfortunately, the Grizzlies end up on the wrong side of the score. It is the Medina Bees 45, the Grizzlies 35. For my... Hello, I'm here again with Kyle. He is the player of the week. And let me ask you some new questions. How was it for you during this game? I know it was a little bit tougher. Yeah, it was definitely a little bit tougher, uh, especially towards the end. You start getting the gosh, getting your mind goes. But you really got to concentrate. Now, what do you do for yourself to help yourself concentrate? Yeah, um, I don't know. I kind of just got there. And for me, it's really, I just don't think. And uh, it's how you what do you guys think of the morale going into Uh Just know that we came out here to play and know that we had a, a really good day playing by our coaches. Um, just like. Now, I know that we're going to be having youth night, and there's going to be a lot of kids watching you, and you're picked again this week, which is amazing. You work really hard. Do you have any other advice for the kids that are going to be watching you that are looking to be in your spot? I know a lot of them think that they can just get in to be good, yeah. but you got to work for the right. Yeah, you saw it. always got to know you got to work hard at the end of the day, because there's going to be someone else on the team, other on the other team working just as hard as you. So just, you know, one extra grab every time. You know, really and two more questions. What do you do to help prevent injury? I know a lot of youth is out there, and I don't think that they're paying quite as attention because you've been through it for a while. What do you do to try to prevent injury? Yeah, um, stretch it. You really got to stretch. You got to hydrate throughout the day. I mean, just not the, the day of the game, but 48 hours of the last year. Okay. And, you know, it's always going to be stretch. And nutrition-wise, what do you do for nutrition? Is it you just eat whatever you want, or do you try? To eat a bit yeah, I'm gonna shout out to my dad. He always, he always, uh, you know, chicken or steak or burgers or something. He's making sure I'm, I'm getting those big calories. That is awesome. Well, thank you so much. This week's sponsor is uh, the Walters Valley Cafe. Congratulations thank again. You. Thank, thank you. you. watching WCTV, Wadsworth Community Television.